Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Photoshop. This is a series where I'll edit an image from start to finish, and hopefully you can pick up some tips and tricks along the way. So for this image, I thought it would look a little bit more interesting and cool if we change the mood of the photo to maybe something more at night, um, and add some a little bit of lighting tricks. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a photo filter. So I'm going to go to image. Actually, I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. Um, layer, new adjustment layer, photo filter. Um, it's, it's always easier to work with adjustment layers rather than applying the image adjustment right on the layer. But there's a time and place for each. So on this new layer, it's going to open up the photo filter uh, menu. So what this does is it allows you to add a color filter onto the the image. Um, so the default color, they have their default filters like warming and cooling, and it just allows you to change the mood of an image. And you can also increase or decrease the density. It's kind of like how strong you want the filter to be. Preserve luminosity kind of keeps the original luminosity of the photo and the original highlights. And if you uncheck it, the color kind of overtakes the photo a little bit more. So to give it a more nighttime feel, instead of using a preset filter, I'm actually just going to select my own color. And I'm going to use I'm going to use a medium blue, like a pretty solid saturated blue, but not electric blue something that looks like a nighttime sky might all right so I think this color looks about right and I'm gonna turn the density all the way up and I'm gonna turn off preserve luminosity so that the entire photo now looks like it was taken with dim night lighting. But when you do that, you actually lose a lot of the original contrast of the original image. So one thing I can do to bring that back is add another new adjustment layer. And this one's going to be a layer, new adjustment layer, and it's going to be a brightness and contrast. Go ahead and select OK. And all I'm going to do is increase the contrast a bit and increase the brightness a bit. Um, using legacy or not, it's, it's just a Photoshop's, it's a different tool that Photoshop uses. You can see this is contrast all the way up without legacy. This is contrast all the way up with legacy. So it's just like a different engine that Photoshop uses. Um, I'm going to keep it off for this one and just keep the contrast a little bit more subtle. So once you're okay with that, you can see before and after, it adds a little bit more contrast. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually blur the photo a little bit. So I'm going to click on my original layer and I'm going to convert it to a smart object. What smart objects can do is you can apply filters onto them and then go back and edit those filters so it's a more non-destructive way of working so I'm gonna go to filter blur Gaussian blur see I don't want to make it all the way um, like 10 pixels or so I actually just want to blur it a little bit kinda of look like a blurry nighttime uh, photo now you see since it has a smart filter on it um, I have a layer mask for my filters and I can turn on and off all my filters and I can even go back and adjust my filters. So I'm going to turn the opacity of that Gaussian blur down to about 90 and I'm going to go on the smart filters mask. I'm going to grab my paintbrush and I'm going to increase it to a soft round brush at 100% flow but about 60% opacity 
I'm going to use, see now with layer masks, white reveals so, and black conceals. So I'm going to use black and I'm just going to take away some of that blurring effect by brushing black onto the layer mask. And I'm going to do this just in areas of focus like her arms. So this is a very subtle effect but all I did was it just blurred the background a little bit and makes her stand out. So lastly I'm actually going to go back and adjust my brightness and contrast a little bit more. I feel like I need a little bit more brightness. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and try to add a little bit of like moonlight to this. So I'm going to go to layer, new layer. I'm going to go to image, apply image. And this just takes whatever I have on the screen and applies it all onto this one layer and it's on top of everything. And then I'm going to go to filter, render, lighting effects. So this brings up the lighting effects filter menu. This is a pretty cool filter where you can add spotlights per se. So right now you can change it from spot to point to infinite. I'm going to use, let's see here. I'm going to use spot and I'm going to drag it out so if you drag it outwards like this you can see where the light starts and then if you drag it wider you can open the light up a little bit so I'm going to create like almost like a like a moonlight I'm going to open it up I might have to zoom out of my picture a little bit so I can work here. So I'm going to zoom it out to 50%. There we go, much better. I'm going to keep dragging. And then you can actually take the center of your photo of your light source and move it around. So I'm going to move it like so. Now all these adjustments here you can increase or decrease the intensity. So I'm going to actually increase the intensity just a bit. Um, the hot spot you can make it larger or smaller. You can play around with it. It's different for each photo. How much color you want this to add. Um, I don't really want it to be glossy, so I'm going to turn that down a little bit. And then really you can just play around with the rest of these. Texture, I'm, I'm going to leave that alone for now. And you can change the color of the spotlight as well. So I can make this like a red spotlight. But we're going to keep it at just like a pale off-white and maybe add a, a, a tint of yellow in there. Kind of like a moonlight would be. So once you're happy, um, you can see before and after. Go ahead and select OK. And I'm going to take my photo back up to 100% here. Just take a look at what I've done. So here is after the lighting effect and before. I think it gives it a lot more mood and direction um, and actually I can even drag this layer underneath my brightness and contrast layer this but no I don't think that looks better see that's this that's the point of this series uh, you're watching me work without an exact script or plan so you can see my workflow a little bit you can see the different tools I use and how you can go back and forth in Photoshop that's how that's the best way to do it so you can see what works or not it's never just from point A to point B. You can always you always go two steps forward and one step back sometimes. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. If anything, I'm going to lower the opacity of the layer just to about like 85%. And I'm going to call that my final image. So I've taken my original photo 
from a daytime looking photo like so and I've turned it into a more nighttime looking photo. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked this video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll get back to you. If you have an idea or a question for a future video, feel free to send me an email at justthisgood at gmail.com. And I'm always open to new questions and ideas. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.